Hi, welcome back. Immediately after making the last video, I got violently ill and here we are. I feel better now. Uh, we're going to be going over, very similar to the last video, some photos from a photo walk with some video I took on my iPhone while I was out. And of course, I'm bad at getting this footage, so we have like four supplemental videos. But the other night, I got a notification on my phone that said dense fog advisory from, you know, start time to end time, uh, whenever that was. Uh, so I grabbed my camera gear, got in my car, and drove around for a little bit. And of course, most of the areas in town are not foggy at all, and I feel like I was lied to by my phone. But I decided to go back across town and try a different spot. And this was a space that I've gone to to shoot a couple other photos that I really like. And I figured there's some cool lights, uh, really like orange, uh, what are those like fluorescent lights? I don't know, uh, tungsten, that's it. Orange tungsten lights uh, mixed with some very bright white and very bright green lights. And I thought that'd be really cool, especially in the fog. And this area was covered in fog. It was great. I love it. And like I said, it doesn't get too foggy around here. So anytime it's anywhere near that, I gotta go. I gotta jump on it. So I get there and I pull out my headphones because obviously you have to listen to some great music get in the headspace and grab my camera. I got some new photo gloves that I got to try out because it was freezing where uh, it's, it's a glove, obviously. But this finger, this finger and this finger, these three fingers, you can pull the tips back. That way, just these uh, just the tips of your fingers are out to operate camera and people use them for fishing and other stuff. But one of the best things that I bought recently. I use it on a couple shoots now. Uh, here's some pictures from the last one that I use it for. Uh, great, I love them. All right, so we're, we're back again with my iPad because this is the easiest way to show all the pictures and uh, go through them. And here's all the pictures from last time. Ta-da. The first couple pictures that I have, uh, these were the first that I shot off for the night. A lot of these, pictures are very similar color palette and it's something that i don't usually shoot in just kind of like the last time we're trying new things going out to do like make different pictures than usual like i said this space is pretty empty there's not a lot of people up there on this was like a a wednesday night at like seven and the sun had gone down it had been a little bit so the first space is a Basically like a courtyard with some old picnic tables that are made of concrete and just old ass buildings where uh, you'll walk by and you'll look in. The buildings are abandoned, but there's apartments above them, but the downstairs trashed. I just thought it looked really cool, especially the silhouette of the picnic tables and how you can just kind of see the colors splash across the top of it and along the wall. I just thought it was really cool to start out with. Uh, we've got a couple pictures of it, one in portrait and another in landscape. And uh, we also got one a little closer up, more emphasis on the green kind of spilling across the ground. Uh, moving on. So there's a hotel down the street. It's called Hotel Missouri. Abandoned. Really beautiful building, though. And like, I don't know, like six. How many, how many floors tall is that? OK, it's only four floors tall. I kind of exaggerated, but it's a decent sized building taller than the rest of the buildings around it. I stopped out front and the street's pretty empty. Not a lot going on this time of night. And I just got a picture of the sign and all of the lights behind it because the fog just kind of like fades away in the background and it looked so cool. I got a couple other pictures of it, but uh, cars drove into it and I, I think it looks better without the red brake lights. I always have the ones with the brake lights if I do decide that I do like them. I want to go back. Back on the hotel, we kind of stepped back a little bit. These are some of my favorite pictures from the whole thing, just because I it, it looks kind of spooky. That's the whole vibe that I'm getting from it. It's just a spooky light coming from the alleyway mixed with the super bright and like contrasty orange. It's like beginning of December right now, so there's a little Christmas wreath on the light too. We also have a portrait 
uh, a portrait version of that picture. I think I like the landscape a little better. It gives more of a sense of space, but the portrait is still nice. And if we scoot over just a bit, the next two pictures show where that light is coming from, that kind of greenish light. And it looks, it looks a little more green further away and we kind of dialed it up in the edit. We step over to the side a little bit. You can see two lights and they've got like very strong beams hitting the other side. And it's just kind of like exploring the space. So we get it from one angle, go to another angle, and then we go in and get more detail shots, which I'm trying to do a little more to help tell the story of the space. And I think this was a good practice of it. And then we get a closer look at it, which is a lot cooler and more white and less orange. And I think this is very, very moody. And you can see on one of the lights in the back, there's a little um, vent coming out. So you can see some steam coming out and helping give some of that uh, oof of, what do you call it? My words aren't coming as easily today. Also along the alleyway, you can see in the previous picture, there was a fire escape, like fire stairs on the outside of the building and the fog got heavier the higher up you went so you can kind of get the lights coming in on the side i don't know it, it, it just looks cool how it kind of fades away it's more of a plain shot than the other shots but i really like it in context with everything else and that's about the end of me going down that way but i did turn around and I'm going to show you the shot beforehand of what it looks like during the day. Uh, this is one of my favorite pictures that I've taken uh, during a nice warm day. There was uh, a couple months ago and it's, it's just become one of my favorite pictures. And this is on the opposite side of the hotel. And so I thought I have a picture of it in this space at this time. What would it look like at night? especially in the fog, because I feel like it looked really plain outside of the fog, but inside it might look pretty cool. And so I turned around and the two buildings on uh, either side of me, I thought would be a cool framing. And it was really orange further on. I like the idea of it. I think it could have been done a little better on my part. And I like it better than these standalone pictures uh, that I took to replicate the older picture that I got a couple months ago, which are still cool. They would look better in context and I tried one, I'll put it up now, one long exposure shot, which I think it's brighter overall. It looks okay, you get more of the stars coming out of the fog, but I didn't like that it was so different than the rest of the pictures. Moving on, I went back down the alley and there was one building that had this very green light, kind of like the beginning, but uh, it was the main source of light in that area. And so I went up and just took a straight on picture of it and you can see hints of orange popping in in the upper left hand corner and on the pole to the right and a little bit more of the foreground area and i think it looks cool because it's got hints of orange but it's very overwhelmingly that green bright green color and like i said i'm trying to mess with uh the orange and green color palette even if it means kind of like tweaking the light color just a bit, just because I think to make all the pictures more cohesive and make them look uh, like they go together. And also just to try out a different color palette. The last couple pictures we have are kind of on my way back to my car. Uh, I decided I was done. I'd been out there for like an hour, just kind of taking a bunch of very similar pictures at different angles and um, just walking around looking at stuff, listening to music. This picture here is kind of a standalone building. You can see to the right, there's the street going in the distance, just kind of fading away. And I really like this one because one, you can see kind of the building and how it's in disrepair. And then the lamppost, oh. And the lamppost is just kind of slightly tilted. And I just, I just like the look of it. And to add to that, I did one edit I made to this picture. I took away the name on the street sign because the street sign is all nice and new and very crisp white letters. And I just, I think the picture looks better without it and fits the theme a little more, which is something small, but I, I think it makes a big difference in the overall feel. Um, walking down the street a little more, 
we actually have our first little bit of blue light pop in. And this was like a super blue light and it's kind of framed in a way. First you have the buildings and then you have the awning or the uh, the roof of the shed, the walkout area, whatever you want to call it, above the blue barrel in the light. So it's kind of, the buildings frame it and then that frames it even more. I think it looks really cool. If I had a person standing there, I feel like this shot would be amazing. And we're on our last picture. I don't have as many pictures as the last time. A lot of these are very similar pictures and it's a small area that I'm in. But the last picture I took, uh, walking back to my car across the street, it was a cafe and they have a cute outdoor area with a uh, fairy light. It's decorated for Christmas. I thought it looked really cool. The barren trees, it's a very symmetrical shot. Not really, but kind of. You get more of the blue and the neon signs in the window and the two open signs on either side. And I thought it was just a nice final picture for everything. You can kind of see the gradient in the background behind the building. Glad that I went out and uh, decided to photograph in the fog when I got the notification, because originally I, I was halfway through a movie, but I went out and I really liked the pictures that I got. And I've definitely got some ideas for some future uh, photo shoots. Uh, with people actually that I want to go back and do if I get the chance. If you want to see any of my other work, my website's down in the description. There's going to be a blog post along with this, just kind of that has all of the pictures. If you want to go look at them more in depth individually, uh, it'll also show them all in context with each other a little more clearly if you want to see that. My socials are down in the description as well. But yeah, that's about all I have. Thanks for watching the video. If you've made it all the way through and, uh, you know, the whole spiel, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you guys next time.